Hello and welcome to another edition of Today in African History. It's the 21st of July. Let's get cracking. Before we do that, if you are here for the first time, welcome to our brand spanking new channel. It's only our 21st video, so we release videos every single day. And the plan is to release a video a day until the 30th of June 2024. Hence the title of the channel today in African history. So if you are a return visitor, <clears throat> welcome back to our channel. We're still shooting videos every single day like we promised. It's our 21st video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do subscribe. If you do like what we're doing here, support our young fledgling channel by turning on your notification bell as well so that you receive updates of our video uploads. That goes for you if you're here for the first time as well. Okay, so let's get cracking. This man pictured here, he looks Ghanaian, doesn't he? Yeah, he is Ghanaian. So his name is John Evans Fifi Atta Mills, born on this day in 1944. But before we go on to his full story, let's start with the first events that happened on this day. So the, the events that were recorded in recorded history before we, we come back to Mr. Atta Mills of Ghana. So on this day, we are going to start with this man here. His name is Chief Albert Dusuli, a former president of the African National Congress and recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. He was sadly assassinated in Grootsville on this day in 1967. Chief Albert Dussoli died after he was struck by a train on a railway bridge close to the home that he had been confined to by the apartheid regime in Grootsville then Stanga, KwaZulu-Natal. Chief Lusuli was President General of the African National Congress from 1962 until his death in 1967. So this was an assassination, like I said earlier, and what, what a very, very, very sad, horrible way to die. And he was struck by a train on a railway bridge close to the home that he had been confined to by the apartheid regime. Also, on this day, this guy here, another South African, his name is Levelyn Herbert. South African hurdle champion was born and the year was 1977. He was born in Bethel Mpumalanga. Herbert was the South African 400 meter hurdle champion from 1996 to 2003. He also earned a silver medal at the World Championships in Athens in 1997. And he also won a bronze medal in the 400 meters hurdles at the 2000 Olympic Games hosted in Sydney, Australia. Also on this day, this lady here, Florence Onyebuchi, also known as Bucci Emecheta OBE, which simply stands for Order of the British Empire. She was born on this day in 1944. She sadly died not too long ago on the 25th of January 2017. She was a Nigerian born novelist who also wrote plays and an autobiography, as well as works for children. Some of the works include The Bright Price in 1976. The Slave Girl in 1977, Second Class Citizen 1974, and The Joys of Motherhood in 1979. There are only a few, these are only a few of the more than 20 books she wrote. Her editor, Margaret Bushby, Bosby, worked for the London based Allison and Bosby, which published the majority of her early novels. Critics and awards recognize Emma Chita's themes of parenting, female independence, and liberation via education. So this is 
Buchi Emecheta OBE, Mrs. Florence Onyebuchi Emecheta, who was born on this day in 1944, Nigerian novelist. She died sadly on the 25th of January 2017. Moving on, this man, his name is Rotimi Akeredolu, also known as Oluwa Rotimi Odunayo Akeredolu. SAN, which means Senior Advocate of Nigeria, born on this day in 1956. He was born in Nigeria and serves or served as the state governor of Undo. In 2008, he was elected president of the Nigeria Bar Association. He is a senior advocate of Nigeria, SAN. In addition, Akeredolu served as the managing partner of the law firm he co-founded with Chief Aki Lujimi, a former Nigerian Attorney General and Minister of Justice. So if you remember hearing this name yesterday, yes, this is a husband of Mrs. Anyangu Akaridol. So born on this day in 1956, so they were born just well, the day apart and a few years. I think the lady is older than the man, uh, two or three years older. So it's happy birthday, Governor Rotimi Akaridolu born on this day in 1956. Also, on this day, very, very long time ago, the year was 1798, the Battle of the Pyramids, also known as the Battle of Mbaba, was a major engagement fought on this day in 1798. During the French in invasion of Egypt, the Battle of the Pyramids, as it's also known, was a major engagement fought on this day, which the French, during the French invasion of Egypt. The battle took place near the village of Mbeba, across the Nile River from Cairo, but was renamed by Napoleon after the Great Pyramid of Giza, visible nearly eight, nearly nine miles away. So that is the Battle of the Pyramids, which happened on this day in 1798 when the French invaded Egypt. Now we come back to the picture that we saw at the beginning of this video on the thumbnail. His name is John Evans Fifi Atta Mills. Again, born on this day, July 21st, 1944. He died on the 24th of July, just three days after his birthday in 2012. He was a Ghanaian politician and legal scholar who served as the president of Ghana from 2009 to 2012. He was inaugurated on the 7th of January 2009, having defeated the ruling party candidate Nana Akufo Addo in the 2008 election. Previously, he was vice president from 1997 to 2001 under President Jerry Rawlings and he stood unsuccessfully in the 2000 and 2004 presidential elections as the candidate of the National Democratic Congress. So this again is John Atta Mills, born on this day in 1944, he died on the 24th of July 2012. You know the story, the, the lesson or lessons that I've learned from this story that you should never give up. This guy tried to be president twice did not succeed but so eventually became president he was vice president to jerry rollins as well and you know at one point he also defeated the current president of ghana who also did not give up in his bid to become president so it's interesting you see if you want anything in life badly enough if you don't give up if you keep striving keep looking for ways to improve you surely will get this thing you sure i mean the, your chances are a lot higher than if you said, okay, you failed one or two times and then you just relax and say, okay, it's probably not my destiny to become president or to become the managing director of my company or to become whatever you want to become. You know, do not give up, keep working hard. Okay, so last but not least, on this day, Anthony Gildas Kofi Annan was born. The year was 1986 is a Ghanaian professional footballer who plays as a midfielder. 
Born in Accra, Anthony Annan began playing football with the local Colts Super Rainbow Stars in the Cape Coast of Ghana. He also played for Cape Coast Venomous Vipers in the Ghanaian Division 1 League before he joined Secondi Hasakas in 2003. He later moved to Accra Hearts of Oak in 2005, the famous Accra Hearts of Oak. Interesting name for his previous club, Venomous Vipers. That's uh, interesting. So anyway, this is Anthony Idas Kofi Annan, born on this day in 1986. I wonder if um, there's any um, connection with the late Kofi Annan. Perhaps he was named after him. We would never know. But anyway, that brings us to the end of today's Today in African History. Thanks for joining us. Again, if you do like this video, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to our Young Dynamic Fledgling channel. Um, join us tomorrow for another edition of Today in African History. Click the notification bell as well so that you're notified whenever we upload a video. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate your support. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.